Right, let's get cranking then. Uh, welcome to Robbie Cummings' Canal Boat Podcast. This is meant as a just a thing that you can listen to while you do something else, really. Uh, I love podcasts myself because I just have them on the background while I'm... Maybe if I'm, I'm pootling along on the boat and it's a really straight stretch of the canal, um, or if I'm just doing the washing up or mucking around in the engine bay. It's nice to have something on in the background, a, a companion. And uh, apparently I've got a nice voice to listen to. I don't know, because I don't like listening to my own voice. Um, luckily, I've got a wonderful team behind me editing this. So, um, yeah, shout out to Urban Podcasts for helping me with this. This is my first podcast. I'm just going to dive right in. I've got a few notes in front of me. And my rough plan is, this is, right, so it's all about starting. And it's like, so starting anything, whether it be creative or just a, some kind of DIY job, it's a bit like, for me, starting one of my journeys on my narrowboat. Um, yeah, people are always asking me, where am I going? You know, and where's the next, where, where are you going next, Robbie? Um... I prefer to just say, well, I'm just going to go that way. I don't like to have somewhere where I have to be. I don't know why that is. I'm just a bit difficult. <laughs> I'm just one of those bloody people that's so stubborn. Um, but yeah, people always ask me, where am I going? And I just say, well, yeah, that way. And, um, well... <laughs> This, this podcast meant as a bit of a companion to Canal Boat Diaries, my TV series. And that is such a wonderful thing that I'm grateful for. The fact that I get to travel around the canal system and film my adventures along the way. But that's a dream that has turned into a job. That is a job. So, um, yeah, I just go where the money is. So wherever the next series wherever we plan the next series to be, that's where I'm going next. Um, and to start that journey, I'd, I'd like to say it's just, uh, yeah, just set off and there, everything just, you know, slots into place. But we do do a lot of planning. And we have to make sure that the producer, Stu, producer Stu, I will mention Stu quite a lot, um, Stu Woodman, this is his baby, the Canal Boat Diaries, program really he does it he does so much work behind the scenes i've got to give him a shout out you see and um drone pilot uh, for most of the, most of it is a chap called phil so for filming days we have to make sure we plan it out these guys have come in i work from home i just wake up and start filming but the, the guys that are helping me they travel um from yorkshire and from leicestershire so wherever I am on the system, don't really matter to me, does it? But we've got to plan it so that they can get to me on the right time. That they've got a hotel to stay in because they can't fit on my boat with me. There's just not enough room. That's what I say anyway. That's my excuse. Um, well, we did try it in the, in the first series when we were filming. There was a night when Stu came and stayed. And that's actually good for him to see what it was, what it was like for me uh, in terms of making the program and planning ahead so there's a lot of research and yeah I, I should um, you're probably hearing the sound of my fridge by the way if you're wondering what that humming is in the background <laughs> and maybe some birds tweeting outside but it's it's gotten dark this is an after hours podcast um yeah a lot of research most of which i read through because it's it's it, the research is done in a team, sort of team effort, myself and Stuart, and um, but yeah, I read through it, a lot of it. I just forget about it until uh, the day we're filming, and then I go, "Oh yeah, it's that bit coming up." Because I like to be surprised. I like to have that feeling of, "Oh right, yeah, this feels spontaneous." I'm going with the flow. I don't like to plan too much because I think I feel like it takes the fun out of it. Um, or maybe I'm just one of those blokes who's just disorganized I don't know <laughs> but I'm happy with it I'm happy with just going with the flow and I've written here expectations not having expectations of what is going to happen along the way um, I much prefer to 
turn my camera on, record what happens um, uh, without trying to expect something dramatic to happen that day or that I will get some good news or that I will even the opposite way have an accident I don't want to think like that you know to expect uh, an outcome because then I would start I don't know just get a little bit emotional about it I suppose um, I, th I think if you don't have any expectations you can regulate your emotions a lot better so you could say that Oh god, yeah, I was really fed up because I thought it would be like this and it wasn't. Or I was told it was going to be terrible and actually it's all right. So I suppose in that case you're you're sort of up there, aren't you? If you <laughs> that's what some people say to me. I say, "Well, I just expect everything to be crap." And then it when it's not, I'm happy. <laughs> but I, I don't like that way of going about your life. So um yeah, I'd prefer to not have any expectations and just let everything that happens just become part of the story that I'm... story of my my life, about anyone's life that's just unfurling in front of you. But yeah, having said that, I do like to sit down and plan things every now and then. Um, you know, where I want to go with my life, what I want to do, uh, my dreams. So I'm a big dreamer I am ever since I was in, a kid in school got a lot of trouble you know <laughs> doodling and dreaming about things that I want to do and I don't know it's nice to have that imagination really I think um, and currently my dream because I can change all the time is to explore the entire network canal network but also you know I want to put down some roots somewhere I want to buy up some land and have some kind of moorings for boats I'd like to yeah just maybe one day have a marina where I can have some all kinds of crazy stuff going on there a axe and knife throwing is something I enjoy I uh, love my movies so perhaps I could have a cinema bowling bowling alley I'd always have wanted to own one of those but yeah <laughs> there'd have to be some space also for boats uh, and uh, maintaining your boats, a dry dock and all that sort of stuff. Um, maybe a cafe and maybe a little uh, museum. Um, yeah, so I think it's important to plan for the future but not get too bogged down in it. I once, when I was, when I knew that I wanted to get a boat, I, um, I spent a couple of years looking for the right one. Um, and whilst I was doing that, I was just trying to save up the money, and it wasn't. It wasn't. It was very difficult knowing what you want to do. You have a, you got a plan in front of you, and it was a very detailed plan. And I think it, that was the problem. It was too detailed, and it caused me to have a not a breakdown, but a little bit of a yeah. It just it just put me into a depression, I guess, and. Um, I don't know if you ever suffered any panic attacks, but it's for me it was like the whole like there was a forty ton Monty Python weight on top of me whilst I was lying down in bed, um, and that was that all seemed to stem from having a plan that you're probably hearing some people walk past now. Having a plan, <laughs> they're coming back from the pub. I'm more near a pub, that's why they're so noisy. Anyway, um, yeah, just having a plan that was maybe a little bit too ambitious or, or um, a plan and expectations. But I think keeping a sit, having a sim, having a um, having a having a dream, life goals, and all that sort of stuff is great. They just don't get too upset if they don't happen immediately. Maybe they are just round the corner. You don't know, do you? Um, I think it's important to not have any expectations but have plenty of hope to keep you cranking that's what I've written down here plenty of hope to keep you cranking <laughs> and I always say keep you cranking 
you know keep cranking it and that's sort of a bit of a you know just just get through it just keep going don't stop so yeah starting starting anything sometimes you have just got to leap in and I've come straight from messing around the engine bay I've got grease all over me from the stern gland <laughs> you know smell of oil and diesel um, I'm hungry I've got some chips I've got some uh, sweet potato fries in the oven that I shall get out in a minute let's have a look yeah they're all re already almost ready I think but before I sort of sign off here because we've got been going for a, a bit now uh, before it's, this is quite these are quite short these um, podcasts really because I just want I want to keep doing them if I if I make it I think this is another thing starting something if you make it too big a job then you're just never going to get round to it are you um, but yeah the first one bit of a trial as well just to see I've got a, a flash new microphone that all the podcasters seem to have so I've got one of them and I haven't actually used it before until right now so hopefully it's all right hopefully you've enjoyed this as well but yeah before I go I want to give a few shout outs to some of my patreons these are crank it crew members and some of these have just joined so here we go we've got Claire and Paul Bell Casey Wheeler who's just uh, gone up to captain he's been uh, supporting the, my channel a long time Joe the producer also producer Sarah Cassidy we've got Sarah as well who's just joined from Chesterfield Canal area and Ian T so all these people are supporting me on Patreon I thought I'd give them a little bit of a shout out there because they're also making this podcast happen because it's a very we're doing it's very commercial free I don't think there's going to be adverts anyway <laughs> I can't send anyone way to advertise um, they might do uh, and in fact, we should do a pub of the week section where if you are a pub by the canal, I'll give you a shout out. But you have to, um, yeah, make it worth my while if you know what I mean. Uh, three pints next time I go past. <laughs> we'll have to figure something out. Um, but yeah, mostly this podcast, the plan is for the future. Looking ahead, I would like it to um, yeah give you a bit more behind the scenes of Canal Boat Diaries and uh, share some of my own thoughts with you and yeah actually I was going to call this cabin fever this podcast but um, <laughs> I think it's probably better to keep it more self-explanatory anyway I hope you really in hope you enjoyed it um, really enjoyed it that'd be great um, catch you on the next one thanks for listening <laughs>